Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi, my name's Jack, it's nice to meet you. It's the first video of 2022. Um, I have made the decision that I'm gonna start posting every Wednesday. So please stick around, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you enjoy the video. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be doing something a bit different um, compared to the past videos that I've done. I'm actually gonna be doing a story time today. It's something different, and like to be honest, I really just love sitting and talking to the camera rather than moving around doing things. So without further ado, let's get in with the video. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know that a few months ago I put up a story which basically said that I'd been trapped inside my bathroom for almost 10 hours and I'd finally got out. So what I'm gonna do is, is just basically break down the story and basically tell you all what sort of happened and how I got in there and why I was in there for so long. So I'm just gonna get straight into the story. Basically, it was during the week, I wanna say it was, I feel like it was like a Thursday. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it wasn't the weekend. It was during the week because I remember I had work. So I came home from work, cooked my tea, you know, like done everything that I needed to do that I do in the night time. Um, and then I got into bed and I got into bed like around about, I want to say half eight. Like I was absolutely knackered. And I think it was around about the time as well that Squid Game, it just came out. So I was obsessed with that. So I thought, right, I'm just gonna sit in bed and watch Squid Game. Um, watch a couple episodes and then go to sleep. So I was in bed, like watching Squid Game, everything was fine. Um, and then I needed to go to the toilet. Um, so I thought, right, whatever, like I'm just gonna go to the toilet. Didn't think anything of it. Leading up to this event happening, I had this thing where I just couldn't not be either on my phone or have my phone on us. Like I just had some sort of separation anxiety with my phone and I still sort of do. Um, but like I was going through this phase where I was just like, right, if I'm going to go to the toilet, I'm just going to leave my phone in my room because I'm obviously going to go straight back to it. I don't need to take my phone everywhere. And I was trying to like break this bad habit, but you'll realise that it wasn't really, it didn't really work out in the end. So yeah, I go to the toilet, um, I lock the door and whatever. And then I get up, flush the toilet, and then I go to open the door and um, it wouldn't open. And I was thinking, that's so strange. And then I looked up and I realized there was um, like a bed sheet um, on the door in between the, the crack of the door and the actual door itself. So I thought, oh, it's just stuck. So it's not letting us open the door. So I thought I'm just gonna try and pull it off. So I tried to pull the bed sheet off the door and um, it came off and it was fine. Um, and then I tried to open it and the door still wouldn't open. And I was thinking, this is so strange. So I started to panic a little bit and I was just like, why is the door not opening? So then I go to try um, the lock again and I was basically twisting it back and forth and I started to realize that the lock had actually like locked itself into place. So the handle was going back and forth fine, but the lock was still in place. So then when that happened, I really started to panic and I was just kind of like, what am I gonna do? So I stood there for a while and I was just kind of like, what do you sort of do in this situation? Basically in this apartment, there's two bathrooms and two bedrooms. Um, one of the bedrooms is an ensuite, which my flatmate has. And then the other one is just my bedroom. And then my bathroom, which is like, you've got to go out the bedroom to get in the bathroom. Um, so this was the bathroom that I was in. Now, none of the bathrooms have um, windows or anything like that. So I was really like thinking I'm actually stuck in here. Luckily, my flatmate was in. Um, so I started shouting and screaming of, of her and I was just like, I'm stuck in the bathroom. Like, can you please try the door from the other side? So she comes out and she was like trying the door and it like wasn't really working. At this point, like I thought it was the lock, but I wasn't completely sure. Just cause I, I guess I just didn't want to believe that it was the lock. So I was just going back and forward with what it could be. So she's pulling the door, she's trying to get me out and it just wasn't really, wasn't really happening. So that's when I was like, right, like what am I going to do? Like there's no window to get out, there's no other door, there's no like vent I can climb through. The other option was kick down the door. Now, I looked at the door and I was just like, like bearing in mind, like I literally had a t-shirt on, I was in my boxers, I didn't have any socks on. So I was just weighing up, you know, what to do. Um, and I thought, right, I'm gonna try and just kick the door in. I mean, I'm not the strongest person, which you can probably tell, but I thought, you know what it is, give it your best shot. Like, my fight or flight mode kicked in and I was like, right, I'm gonna kick this door down. So I go to try and kick the door and the door's just not, it's just not cooperating. If anything, I'm getting more hurt than the actual door's getting damaged. Basically, majority of the doors in this apartment are like really thick fire doors. 
so I don't even know why that got into my head to try and even kick the door down because realistically you can't really kick a fire door down like unless you're like really strong or you've got some sort of like thing to kick the door in with but obviously I was barefoot like it's not going to do much so when obviously I was trying to kick the door in it you know it wasn't it wasn't happening so I was just kind of like what what am I, what am I supposed to do so I was I was literally stuck in there with no phone nothing like I was like who do I call whatever so um it was really up to my flatmate to kind of sort something out so I was stood there thinking like who, who would be the best person to call so basically for this property um, there's like a emergency number so if anything sort of happens because obviously we're renting um, if anything sort of happens you need to ring this number if there's like any sort of emergencies or anything like that um, ring this number and then someone will come out and, and help so I said to my flatmate okay get my phone um, and call the emergency number so she went and got my phone um, and we tried to call the emergency number and they weren't answering it was going straight to voicemail and I thought that was so weird um, so at this point I was just like right <laughs> Like, completely hopeless, didn't have a clue what I was going to do. Then we were deliberating on the fire brigade coming out. Um, we were back and forward with that one. Um, and we didn't really come to a conclusion on whether that was the right thing to do at this point. So the next option would be, right, call my dad, because I thought, like, my dad could come and help. So she rang my dad, and my dad basically answered and was just like, I'm really sorry, but basically what happened was, is... The day that I got stuck in the bathroom was also the day that um, Newcastle, so Newcastle United, our football club, like basically got bought um, from Mike Ashley. So obviously everyone was just out drinking and going wild. So my dad was drinking in the house um, and couldn't drive up. Um, but he was like, if you can wait until the morning, you know, I can come over and let you out. And I was just like, right, okay, that's fine. But obviously like, it wasn't the best solution um but it was something because by this point it wasn't a case of simply i could kick the door in or neither could he like the door actually had to be taken off its hinges like with it being a fire door there's no chance i was ever really gonna get out especially with like the lock sort of being stuck in the door it wasn't a case of like i could have just kicked the lock in because it was it was an internal problem so then i was just like right okay that's fine like what time can you come and he was like i'll try and be there for like 7 a.m at this point, I think it was like 9.30. So yeah, reality started to settle in that I was going to be in there overnight, um, which again, really wasn't ideal. You know, I was just sort of stood there thinking like, what, what can I do? Is there anything I can do to get myself out? I was like looking around the bathroom for like a way out. And there literally wasn't guys, because there was no window, like there was a tiny ventilation system that like I wasn't gonna fit into. I don't even know what I was thinking. I was like, maybe I could dig underground, but like, I feel like when you're in that situation though, you just panic and you start to think of all these different things that like could happen. You know, I was thinking like, if there was a fire, like I was literally toast at that point. So yeah, I literally had to sleep in there. Um, I mean, luckily there was a toilet, there was a tap with some water. But yeah, literally like I was freezing, there was no food. I was totally trapped in my own house. Like it was just such a weird and strange experience to be trapped in a room that like is in your living space, technically. And yeah, I, I had to obviously sleep on the floor, um, on like the tiles and put like, <laughs> obviously I'd had a shower like earlier in the day. So it was just like a wet towel I had to put over me. Um, and I was just totally like hating life. I think I'd like went through so many emotions in that bathroom as well that like I just sort of zoned out and I think I just ended up going to sleep but it was weird because I was like in and out of sleep. I didn't really know like what time it was because obviously I didn't have a phone so you know I didn't know if it was sort of day yet and like if my dad was on his way like I just honestly had to like pray that someone was coming. Basically my Dad ended up coming at like 7 a.m. to save the day, so I'm honestly so grateful for that. Um, and actually got me out. So if he didn't come, then I don't know what I would have done. If my flatmate wasn't in, then I, I probably would have died in there. To be honest, like it's actually quite scary to think about, you know, because there was like no way out. Um, I probably would. I don't even know what I would have done. I honestly don't even. It goes through my head because I'm just like, what would I have actually done if like I, I wasn't able to contact anyone? which is like so scary to think about. So, you know, I am quite fortunate, to, you know, that I wasn't in that situation. But yeah, my dad came about 7 a.m. 
um, and basically brought his tools and took the door off its hinges. I mean, to be honest, it took a while to get off. Like, he sort of took the hinges off and then I sort of had to kick the door open. Um, and then eventually I got out. And I got out and I was just so emotionally, like, not there. Because I was just like, has that just happened? Like, it honestly did not feel like real life. So this is the current state of the bathroom door. So my dad had to literally pull it off the hinges because there was literally no other way of getting it off. So yeah, no door, but at least I'm free. I was literally sleeping there, guys. Like, I literally had that toilet mat as a, as a headrest and I was on that floor. Would highly recommend, to be honest. But yeah, I live, obviously, to tell the tale. So yeah, I guess moral of the story is, remember I'd always take your phone to the bathroom because <laughs> you never know if you're actually going to need it. Crazy man, honestly. Absolutely crazy. Now that it's been a few months, I can sort of like laugh about it and sort of like see the funny side of it. But honestly, like, like if you're trapped in somewhere that you don't want to be, like it was honestly, not that it was like prison, but like I can imagine that's what probably prison's like. Like you don't know what time it is, if, it, if it's day or night, like you're just confined to this room and it was just like mentally exhausting. So yeah, I've literally got a phobia now of like, not locking the door in public bathrooms, but sort of locking that door. Um, the the people who like own the place eventually came out and put a new door on and a new lock on. Um, and honestly, like I've just not had the courage to turn it again. Cause I'm just like, if I get locked in here again, I'm literally like gonna go insane. Like I just, I can't be, I cannot be doing that again. Like it was so bad. I mean, like I am dramatic sometimes, don't get me wrong, but like nobody wants to be in a bathroom for that long. Like, but yeah, I guess that is the end of the story time um, of how I got locked and trapped inside my bathroom for 10 hours. If you want some more story times, not like this, cause that's the first time I've ever been locked in a bathroom. Um, but if you want some more interesting story times of things that have happened to me in the past, um, then yeah, let me know down below. And yeah, like I say, I'm gonna be posting every Wednesday going forward. So please subscribe, um, like the video if you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to comment down below any ideas that you want me to do or any story times, or if this has happened to you and you've been locked in the bathroom or anywhere before. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.